OMG, we might actually have confirmation that Mariah Carey and Lenny Kravitz are the latest Hollywood couple. But what is this I'm hearing about them even secretly getting married? Child, Mimi and Lenny dating was not on my 2024 radar at all. But I love when legends legend together. But I'm also made to understand that some of y'all are not digging this relationship at all. Why? We'll find out in a bit. But first, let's break down how Lenny seemingly saved Mariah. So word on the street is that Lenny and Mariah have been quietly dating since November of last year and were supposedly spotted getting cozy at several events these past few months. A source who gave the tip said, the former was even seen at the latter's Christmas concert in LA. Since then, the two have been honored at a number of industry events and been spotted getting awfully close. Personally, I'm not sure about the November part because that would mean that they were already seeing each other when Mariah's ex-boyfriend Brian Tanaka confirmed in December that they broke up. Well, the insider claimed Mariah and Lenny have been keeping their relationship a secret since they are still in the beginning stages, but they could be going public with their romance later this year. They said, don't be surprised when the two make their relationship public at this year's Rock and Roll Hall of Fame induction ceremony, which both have been nominated for. They're keeping it under wraps just because it's the early days, but they both have been spotted at a number of events together, including a discreet dinner date at Craig's in West Hollywood yesterday. Okay, y'all all know that Lenny and Mariah Carey are two superstar musicians who have maintained a strong friendship over the years. I mean, back in 2012, Mariah even shared a photo of herself with Lenny on Twitter and expressed hope that Lenny might join her as an American Idol judge. She was like, what's going on? Need the info. What about this combo? If we could ever get him to do it. Lenny then responded to the tweet and referenced the history of their relationship saying, girl, we've known each other since we were teenagers. How fun would that be? In addition, Lenny also posted the same photo of himself and Mariah on his Facebook account. Then he elaborated on how he and Mariah Carey knew one another before either of them was working as a songwriter and musician by saying, ran into my old friend Mariah in Morocco. We go way back before we were both making music. Actually, Lenny has talked quite a few times about how he and Mariah go all the way back. Like during a 2018 Watch What Happens Live episode, he revealed to host Andy Cohen and fellow guest Gail King that he and Mariah Carey were friends before fame. And their friend group was well aware that Mariah Carey was meant for stardom. She knew she had the talent. We all knew she had the voice. We all used to hang out on the Upper West Side at a friend's house and at her house with her roommates. And uh, she used to work at a sports bar. A few weeks ago, Lenny also talked about how they go all the way back when he and Mariah both received awards at the Recording Academy Honors, presented by the Black Music Collective in Los Angeles. After being honored, Lenny opened up about what it meant for him to receive the Global Impact Award, which is given to artists whose dedication to the art form has greatly influenced the industry. He said, it's a blessing. I can only thank God and, you know, I love what I do. I do it to amplify love. And yeah, I'm here, man. It's beautiful. Then he talked again about how he met Mariah when he said, we met on the east side of New York and we were around the same group of friends. She was working on her demos, I was working on mine. She worked at a sports bar I used to hang out at, so it's extra special to be sharing this night with Mariah. Lenny also recalled being joined by a bunch of cats when they would go hang out at Mariah Carey's apartment. And while we are not sure whether the feline friends belong to Mariah or her roommate, Lenny was like, we used to go over to the house and hang out. She had a bunch of cats. And I remember her playing her cassettes and me playing mine. And here we are tonight on the same night which is cool. So yeah, if we're talking about how far they actually go, Lenny and Mariah go all the way back. Other than their incredible friendship, Lenny and Mariah have also collaborated on projects professionally, as they've been in two films together, Precious and The Butler. And although they don't share time on screen, the two were both in attendance and posed together at the Cannes Film Festival in 2009 to promote Precious. These two have also shown admiration for each other over the years. Like when in 2013, Mariah Carey shared a picture of her son Moroccan via Instagram wearing a large pair of sunglasses, which she compared to Lenny's signature look, saying, rock star doing his best at Lenny Kravitz impression. In a 2020 Instagram post, Mariah also shared a photo of herself posing next to a stack of books on her reading list and captioned it, essential 2020 reading. If you look closely, you can see Let Love Rule, a 2020 memoir by Lenny Kravitz, beautifully displayed among other books from the must-read lineup. I mean, considering how close they've always been, does it really surprise you that they could be together? Well, there are 
are people also saying that they are not so confident about their relationship, considering Lenny's past love life and how he's always been a ladies' man. Baby, we are even talking about somebody who cheated on his ex, Lisa Bonet, multiple times. First of all, even how he began dating Lisa was a bit sus, because Lenny dropped the person he was dating before Lisa in an instant when he met Lisa Bonet backstage at a new edition concert. Apparently, they felt an instant connection and bonded over their Jewish backgrounds. And on Lisa's 20th birthday, she and 23-year-old Lenny jetted off to Las Vegas and got married. She gave birth to their daughter Zoe in December 1988. And in 1989, Lenny's debut album, Let Love Rule, was released, and Lisa even helped him co-write a few songs. But their marriage was doomed as there were rumors that Lenny was cheating on Lisa with Madonna and multiple other women. Eventually, they ended up separating in 1991, and Lisa filed for divorce in 1993. Other than Lisa and that other woman who was dropped as soon as Lenny saw Lisa, Lenny has been through quite a number of relationships. And to some people, that is a red flag. Because the question is, why can't he seem to settle with one person for long? Does he have commitment issues? And just for a quick background, these are some of the public relationships he's been in. First, there was Tisha Campbell, who he met when he auditioned for a stage revival of the musical titled The Me Nobody Knows. In his book, Lenny described Tisha as having gorgeous hazel eyes and, quote, the most beautiful singing voice. And he was also amazed by her sweet personality. Lenny also said that he gravitated towards her street smarts, her swagger, and her attitude. He said they began flirting while on set, and the next thing he knew, they were making out on the floor during a party at their cast member's home. Lenny also dated pop singers Kylie Minogue and Natalie Imbruglia. And when those relationships didn't work out, he moved on to Nicole Kidman, who he almost married, by the way. But in December 2003, Lenny was spotted at a Miami nightclub with Brazilian artist Isis Aruda, and rumors that he cheated on Nicole made headlines. Well, Lenny tried to clear the air, and he told the New York Daily News that by the time the paparazzi images of him and Isis were released, his relationship with Nicole was already over. After Isis, Lenny moved on and was seen partying with actress Michelle Rodriguez on New Year's Eve the next year. Oh, and he also had a two-year relationship with a South American girl who he said lived in a Miami ghetto. Now, I don't know how many women he dated after that, but in 2008, Lenny made a vow of celibacy and said he would refrain from intimacy until he got married again. Since that time, he wouldn't confirm if he was still celibate or not. And by the time 2019 rolled around, Lenny was still single and looking. And he told People Magazine he's holding out hope on meeting a forever love of his own. He said, I've had a lot to learn, but I feel like I'm at a place where I'm really ready for that. Okay, maybe he did change. And like he said, he learned a lot and he's ready. But the question is, is he ready for Mariah Carey? Baby, considering they have allegedly been secretly dating since November last year, I wouldn't be surprised if the news that comes out is that they secretly got married. I know that they are capable of pulling such a stunt since they know that fans are super invested in the alleged relationship. But do you think they make a beautiful couple? Or do you think these two are just the good old friends they have always been? I think they look amazing together. But let me know what you think in the comment section below.